Well guys, E3 has come and gone, or it's wrapping up today. Uh, so I want to talk about the stuff that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sorry if I'm scratching my arm here, I got sunburned a couple weekends ago and now it's just starting to itch. Um, I want to talk about the stuff that I saw, like the stuff I was most excited about during all the conferences and other stuff that was announced, and the stuff compared to what I hoped for type thing. So. Uh, let's start with the stuff that didn't happen. Um, first of all, uh, the Sucker Punch game, Sucker Punch wasn't even shown, or Naughty Dog wasn't shown either. Neither was Tide of Tasmanian Tiger. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 was nothing. Everything Kingdom Hearts 2.8 related, I talked about already in another video that will be releasing either before or after this video comes up, but it'll be released the same day. Um... Final Fantasy VII was not shown. Per, uh, Persona 5, there was no English trailer. We saw, we got to hear the English voice actress for Morgana, which was cool. And got to see some gameplay stuff. Everything was in Japanese still, because the day, either the day I uploaded my hopes and predictions for E3, or it was either the day of that or the day after that, Atlas announced, hey, Persona 5 is coming out in February, February 14th, so yay. Uh, everything in Persona 5, like I said, I saw some gameplay stuff, uh, it all looks good, I can't really explain that much, and the trailer, yeah, you know, that old trailer from May, it looks nice, everything looks good in that trailer, uh, everything's just great overall with that stuff, I can't, I don't really want to talk anymore about Persona 5 anymore, because, you know, okay, we got a release date, that's it, no more talking about Persona 5, now uh, about like you know theories or analyst of the trailer also because well it's old and super out there right now it's more so like why even at this point uh, I see it that way but yeah everything that they showed E3 all the gameplay stuff all the talks about this stuff looks fantastic and I can't wait to play that in February unfortunately <laughs> all right so let's talk about the stuff that that I like the best. Everything else on my list that I said didn't appear, appeared. But we'll talk about that now. So, my old list. New list. Alright. So, day zero of E3. Started off with EA and Bethesda having conferences. EA's, uh, they showed Mass Effect, kind of. They showed a little bit of uh, Mass Effect of Mod. They really showed nothing. They showed behind the scenes stuff and then little clips of new stuff, but it wasn't, it was nothing. Uh, same with Star Wars. They were like, hey, here's what's coming up in 2018 for Star Wars. Talk to all the people working on games, but we're not going to show anything new. Even though they did show something new, but that's like, eh, will it really be there type thing? And the one, like, quote unquote good thing I say is like, FIFA 17, The Journey, uh, kind of reminds me of uh, NBA, NBA 2K16, uh, Living the Dream. It reminds me of that, in that, but instead, uh, it looks a lot better. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I probably will not pick it up at all, because I'm not that big on sports games, but eh, it doesn't look bad. Like, that was, that was a cool thing. Uh, Bethesda, uh... Prey, new Prey, that's cool. I can't, oh yeah, Skyrim HD. A lot of people saw that coming. A lot of people were actually hoping for Oblivion instead of Skyrim, but yeah. I don't know if I'd pick up Skyrim. Uh, I mean, if it's somewhat something like Fallout, eh, I don't know. Speaking of Fallout, they announced like how Fallout and other games are gonna be compatible with, virtual, with VR soon. Uh, next year, I believe, or coming up. Like, Doom was one of the things, too. They announced a new Quake. Not that big of a deal. Dishonored 2. Uh, that's coming out in November. And the Collector's, Collector's Edition also brings uh, Dishonored 2. I still haven't decided if I want the Collector's Edition or not. I mean, if it's 100 bucks, I mean, if you've seen what it looks like, you can see why it would be that much. But at the same time, like, mm, I could just get... Dishonored 1 for like 35 bucks right now, or maybe even cheaper, and then pick up Dishonored 2 by itself. And of course it comes with a sealed bookcase. I mean, 
Steel books are cool sometimes, but then they're like, uh, steel book again. Why? Like how many? I have three or two of them right now. I know for sure I have um, Last of Us and Uncharted Four. I might have a third one. I know, and I'll get Persona Five, which kind of sucks because I love the box art for Persona Five. I really like that. Um, so yeah, that was those stuff. Microsoft. Uh, it was already leaked, but Xbox S really cheap, only like three hundred bucks too. So that's cool. Play Anywhere feature, that's nice. It has, you can play anything with Xbox One or uh, Windows 10. That's cool. And they also pronounce Project Scorpio, which seems to be their VR, which won't come out until 2018. So that's cool. And of course the games too, but Dead Rising 3, 4 was the big game. I was like, please don't let me be exclusive. And of course it's exclusive. Because I really want to get into Dead Rising. Like, I think the only ones that was not on Xbox was Dead Rising 2. And then Off Record were the only games that were not on Xbox, which really sucks. But, oh well. X, uh, Xbox needs to have their exclusives as well. Uh, Ubis now, those are all the ones I saw live. Every other conference I did not see live or not all of it live. So this is going by, on by stuff that I saw on Twitter or on the little tidbits I did see live. Ubisoft, uh, South Park, looks good. Uh, that's coming out this year in December. Yep. And if you pre-order, you get Stick of Truth for free, which is nice. That's cool. Um, or if you just purchase purchase it in general, you get free on. I don't. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be oh on the console of your choice, like either Xbox One or uh, PS4. That's cool. And that's really all I cared about. I mean, they also showed Trials of the Blood Dragon, which is Trials. The motorcycle game along with uh, Blood Dragon, uh, Far Cry Blood Dragon. So, that's cool. Now, on to Sony. Sony had big things happening there. So big, like, oh. So, not big that they deserve their own video type thing. At least the stuff that I want to take away from it. Like, all the stuff that I was happy about. God of War. It That was the first thing they showed. And... It's not called God of War 4, but it is a sequel to God of War, which is strange if you think about that. So, it's a reboot sequel in a way. I can't remember. There was another series that did something like that before, but I can't really place it at the top of my head right now. So, I it might take a while. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, God, God of War. Last Guardian got a new trailer and release date coming out in October this year. Still debating if I want to pick it up or not. I don't know. I'll, may, I might pick it up maybe in November after seeing maybe reviews and all that stuff. I don't know. Like I said, I played Shadow of the Colossus. I, I liked it, but I don't know if I can really get into Lost Guardian. I'm not sure. It does look fantastic, though. So, Crash Bandicoot! Crash Bandicoot! It got announced for Skylanders. Oh. Oh. First Spyro, now, now, now Crash. But, good news, good news. They are remaking Crash 1, 2, and Warped, which is Crash 3. I don't know why they don't call, they don't call it Crash 3. They're remaking all of them for the PS4 from the ground up. Uh, the guy said that wore the Crash shirt last year. He even made fans that was like, I'm not wearing the shirt this time, but here's Crash. So, baby Baby steps, baby steps. Maybe this could be like, okay, okay, remake the remake the original, and then you know maybe make a new one. I just wish they would do the same thing for Spyro, remake the first three PS1 games for PS4. Oh, that would look so beautiful. Like if they didn't change anything and just made remake like that, I could 100% all of them in like a day. Well, not all three of them in a day, but like one every day. Okay, so Kojima's new game, uh, Death Stranded, uh, having Norman Reedus, but, yeah, he was naked. It was a fantastic, it was, it was such a cryptic trailer, too, it was like, what's going on? And then, of course, you see Norman Reedus, and everyone freaked out, like, ah. So, I'm excited to hear more about that, that about that game, and I'm gonna pick it up. That, that game, we're not gonna see until 2018, or possibly even 2019. No way in 
Hell, that's coming out next year. Uh, so, you know, I said that Sucker Punch was rumored to make a Spider-Man game. That's not true. It was Insomniac is actually making a Spider-Man game for the PS4. And apparently Yuri, Yuri Lowenthal is the voice of Spider-Man. So, yeah, I love Yuri Lowenthal. He's the best. But, yeah, uh, that game looks really good. I'm definitely going to pick that up. Don't know when that's coming out. Don't know if they put it release year or anything like that. If it comes out this year, perfect, I'll play it. If it comes out next year, perfect, I'll play it again. I'll play it still. Final Fantasy XV is going to have, is going to be compatible with uh, Morpheus, I believe that's what they call the H, uh, their uh, virtual reality headset. And you can play as Pronto, which is cool. Although I'm not, I mean, I'm still iffy about the whole virtual reality thing. I mean, that I think the VR headset's either 350 or 400 bucks. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know, that's, uh, I don't know how I feel about that yet. I mean, until there's a game that I'm really looking forward to, and it's like, the only way you can play it is with virtual headset, and you're like, oh, fuck. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Uh, and then, probably the biggest surprise that no one was expecting is Resident Evil 7. They even have a demo come out, and I actually made a video in that demo that's in the RPG Kingdom Kid Twitter at our Kingdom Kid page that's either already released or has that or will be released today as well. So it's already it, it's been recorded and it's all set for your viewing pleasure. Remember that's in the RPG Kingdom Kid Twitter or Kingdom Kid channel. I'll leave the channel in the description below. So that was all the conferences, and then Nintendo kind of had a clubhouse type thing. They showed off Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is the NX slash Wii U game that's been delayed like five times already. Five or four. Or three. I don't know. It's been delayed. Like, almost as much as Persona 5 has been delayed. Maybe one more than that. I don't know. But it looks great. Uh, I'm excited to play that. Maybe. It, like I said, I'm not going to pick up an NX unless it's cheap, has some good, you know hardware and such and if it has more if it has games that i'm looking forward to buying because the wii u yeah it had a i don't know i'm trying to think what wii u had that really that was like oh that would that'd be great to have but then everything else is like eh. i can't even remember there was one game but i oh um legend of zelda twilight princess hd remake i guess that would be nice and and wind waker too but Almost everything else was like, eh. And then they showed off, uh, oh, there's also voice acting in it too. There's voice acting in a Zelda game. And it's so open world that's like, wow, it's all this stuff they talked about on, Ze on The Legend of Zelda is fantastic. Uh, and then they showed off new Pokemon in Sun and Moon. So, yay, new Pokemon. No one was expecting that. I'm, I'm going to probably pick up one of them, both of them at some point, but one for sure, but I don't know which one yet. Might pick up Sun first, then I'll pick up Moon. Gotta yeah, catch them all. I mean, I almost, I practically have every other Pokemon. Now I just need all the ones for Sun and Moon. So, yay for that. Right. Anyway, guys, that is all there is about my E3 and how I thought about E3 in general. Like I said, everything was nice. Everything was nice. Uh, it was a good E3 this year. Uh, some conferences were weaker than others. Some were stronger. Some were weaker than they were last year. Some were stronger than they were last year. Uh, so yeah, it was a big deal. And I'm looking forward to all these games coming out. Crash Bandicoot, I will for sure do a Let's Play in the first one. I might. I don't know about the second or third one. We'll have to see about that. Final Fantasy XV coming out this year. Definitely doing that. I don't know, Nintendo's a whole Scrooge about uh, their LP game, so I don't know if I'll do one for Zelda or not. I would like to, but yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it. And as always, you can subscribe to my main channel. You can subscribe to RPG Kingdom Kid in the description below. That's where my Resident Evil 7 is. That's in the description. And where all the Let's Plays of these games are going to be happening. And follow me on Twitter. Make sure you subscribe here as well. All right, guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all next time.